going everybody welcome back to our next episode of the jamaican airman vlogs for this moment in my car at work and lunchtime you already know what the deal is and if you're new and you don't know what the deal is subscribe to the channel look back to my previous videos to know to get updated with what i do on lunchtime talk in my car at work and you know share the episode if you like it as well you know invite new people to tune in on the channel so you read the title why i quit my job at walmart walmart was my first technically my first and my second or third job because when i was at walmart first when i went to walmart first this was a month after i came to the states walmart i went to walmart first and i got employed there but there was wait they were waiting on my green card right a green card is what you show when you're a legal resident in the united states if you don't know so but when you don't have it especially when you're going to work you know they need that stuff to show that you are legal to work all right so it didn't came in time and they had to let me go and i'm like okay that's how i ended up at jamaica jamaica you know you can go back to my previous video and you will see that episode or i will just put it in the video somewhere so i went back to them after i got fired from jamaica jamaica and i went to walmart to start work back at a, as a car pusher that was with my position when i first got there and when i went back i started out as a part a cart pusher so the reason why i quit it's not from a, a standpoint of walmart as a company but as a standpoint of who was working there as the manager or who's which position it was right that let me that led me to quit the job so right i was at walmart i was working pushing the cars everything you know it was hot in the uh, rainy days you know it's in my some of my vlogs it, it, i it's go back to my first previous videos my first previous videos um i started my channel when i was at walmart working and you will see you know i show uh, the process of me pushing carts. i even talk about you know a day of pushing carts at walmart so you know i from a standpoint there i i didn't come off as a ungrateful worker a matter of fact i appreciate the fact that i could even have a job right so i'm like okay then you know i was doing my thing you know months you know a couple months fast um passed by and i'm the type of person will who i start out humbly but i will not be comfortable with what i have you know i will want to look to advance further right i don't want to be there like friggin three years after and still being a car pusher who would want that if you want it that's you that's not me all right so a position open um opened up right in the pharmacy cashier pharmacy cashier that was the position that opened up and the managers at walmart put up a big sign at the door like hey um we're looking for a pharmacy cashier and be mindful they put up this sign for all of the workers inside to see not really anyone outside to say hey we have this open they probably have it but not like you know that sign what they put up it was just for workers as us to know that hey this is a chance for you guys to you know move up so i'm like okay then you know i've been i've been working my ass off you know a good couple of months in the heart and in the you know because everyone else is inside it's just me alone as a car pusher is outside so i'm like yo okay then it's a time now where i can find myself into the ac you know outside was really hot plus it's florida plus at that time it was the summer so you you do the match right there so i did all my best to make sure i applied i did everything I, every single thing they could not say i was a bad worker or anything like that or i didn't deserve the position other people was there was trying to get the position as well but that's not the reason why i quit right so moving along every single day i ask or if not on that day it would be the other day i asked upper management if they had come to an, um, come to an uh, agreement uh, as to who is going to get the position, right? Because I let them know from early from the get-go, like, I need to come out of the sun and get in to the cashier. I even take it, took it a step further and go over to the pharmacy when I have free time, when I'm not pushing the carts, 
to familiarize myself with who is over there because that's where I am going in my mind. That's where I'm going eventually. So I want to make sure that I know these people. I know who I'm going to be working with. And they also know me and the type of person who I am and what I am about or what I the, the, the impacts I want to bring to them. You know, I just want to show them my ambition as to what I'm coming with. All right. So I got familiar with everyone. Everything was cool. I, I, I go to them like or stop by them probably every day to just talk to them a little bit and you know it was going good you know i asked and, and again i asked the upper management if everything is good you know whatsoever be the case and yeah move it along probably like two weeks after i didn't hear nothing like no word was being spoken of this position because you know two weeks going past like in the sun coming to work i worked to 3 p.m to 12 a.m pushing cards non-stop right and top it on that as well so top that and 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 this is what we are talking about when i was working there i was working there with my dad all right some of the videos you can see my dad is there at the same place where the both of us work at the same place we just started out right so what upper management will do right upper management will at any time not see me pushing carts you know what they do they go to my dad and ask my dad if they can call me to figure out where I, where I am. Even if I'm in the bathroom taking a shit. They call, they, 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 cause they can't find me. They go to my dad and, and tell him to call me, right? What kind of professionalism is that? Like you, told, you tell my dad because you know it's my dad. So you're taking advantage of the situation really unprofessional. So... And that pisses me off a lot. At one time, I think I went into the office and tell them, yo, stop telling my dad to call me because I don't like it because they did it numerous amount of times. And at first I was cool with it and then it started to get annoying. You know, plus it's my dad. I don't want my dad to be calling me when I'm at my job. You know, and my dad was getting really annoyed by it as well. So it was really getting out of hand and I had to tell him like, yo, you know, stop with that bullshit. So moving on now. I didn't hear nothing about the position, right? No one was saying anything. And I went, I think, a day after. A day after, right? Let me switch back a little bit. That day, when I didn't hear anything, I asked them. They said everything was okay. You know, they was just waiting on something. I don't remember. But the next day, I came in only to see someone replacing me. You know that? <laughs> you know what I did right there? You know, if you listen to all of the lights by Kanye West. To my surprise, a nigga replacing me. Yeah, you know, when I came in, someone else is at the cashier, right? I'm like, hmm. And the, the messed up part about it is that it wasn't someone that worked there. So this guy came from outside, right? So what the upper management did was, right? They led us to believe that they wanted to invest time to allow people inside that's already working there to get a chance to move up. But what they did was get someone else outside of that branch that we were working outside when there are so many workers that was looking forward to it, to it. And they didn't even tell us that they did it. Like they didn't even tell us like nothing. They didn't tell us anything. So I went to them and I'm like, yo, this is, who is that at the cashier? They, they say it's a new worker. I'm like, so is there another one? Like, you guys are given another position? Like, you know? He said, no. So I'm like, so you didn't tell me. Plus, you have me out there in the sun working whatsoever long. I didn't complain. I didn't say anything. I did what I have to do. And you guys just put someone else outside. You didn't even try to invest in the people that is already there working, working their butts off. I would feel better if it was someone inside the place that is already working there. Because I believe that it's best to invest more in the people that you already have, right? That you know that are great workers. And that pisses me off so much. And at that time, I was looking for a different job. And it so happens that that job came true already. I was just waiting to see what they, they were going to say. 
And when I hear that, I'm like, yo, it's done. Done. That day I worked and I came off my job, didn't went back, didn't say anything. They always say, you know, don't burn bridges, but I'm going to burn some friggin' bridge because some bridges are not sturdy enough for me, right? So it's best to, it's best to burn it than let someone else go walk on it and drop to their debt, all right? So I quit that job, never went back, fuck it. You know, fuck them people at Walmart. I we even went back and some of them were even fired. I'm like, yeah, fuck yeah, because some of them people, you know, they were fucking up. So, yeah. So, that's the story behind why I quit my job at Walmart. Again, it wasn't a Walmart as a company thing. It was just the people working there as upper management. And I believe that's the problem with a lot of jobs is the upper management, not really the company. Right? So... Thank you guys for watching our next episode. I will do our next episode, which is my third job at T-Mobile and why I quit that job as well. Yeah, I'm probably, yeah, you'd probably think of me as a person that doesn't stay in these jobs. Yeah, it's for a reason. Trust me. Right? So, guys, thank you very much. Remember to like, share, and subscribe to the Jamaican Airman. Many thanks. Have a great weekend. Have a great week as well. Respect.